Well, hello there, YouTube. Well, it's March 10th. That's right, March 10th, 2022. It's been like three weeks since the last time I did a video. Um, only last time I uploaded a video. Let me tell you, I've been doing a lot of videos. So every single component that I've taken off this engine, I'm going through and making sure that it works cleaning it all up and all that and then put before we put it back into the car so uh, unfortunately you know parts are sometimes are tough to get uh, I have one part that won't even be here until April 15th so <laughs> yeah so it's gonna be a while but uh, you know I'm putting together things and I actually have something to go with so that's what today's video is all about but uh, before I do that um, it's been three weeks so I'm refreshing my thing and I have 58 subscribers so that's great uh, my last video I had 52 subscribers so welcome six new subscribers and I'm not gonna let you guys down I promise I hope you put you check that little bell at the bottom you know I just discovered that bell that notifies you of all your stuff you know I don't, I, I see notifications when I'm in YouTube, but I never actually notice that you can actually get notified. So that, that's my bad. <laughs> but now you know, if you didn't know, but, uh, I always see guys have that little bell. Yeah, click the bell. What's that all about? Uh, uh, let me get back to this. All right. So let's see. Hey, I want to thank my new subscribers. I'm not going to let you guys down, I promise. We got to, if you know, if you're, now that you're following me, or maybe you're new, it's the first time you're seeing it doesn't matter, but I've taken this car apart, right? So every little component has to be put back together. So, for example, this is the smog pump or air, air pump. And uh, it has a couple of components to it with a clutch and, you know, a pulley and some sir clips. And, and then we've got this valve, so we're going to, we're going to, bench test this valve we're going to go ahead and bench test the pump itself and we're going to bench test the uh, clutch and make sure it all works and we're going to actually change the clutch uh, not that the other one was bad but you'll see uh, but that's what this video is all about let me see I've got my notes so if you see me looking down it's because I have notes because I just you know my mind wanders uh, so yes, that electrostatic clutch we're going to do, oh, that's the shutoff valve, that other little thing, right, with the two hoses on, so, oh, hey, if you guys like what, you know, what you're seeing, I mean, you know, these are pretty detailed, I, I kind of, I go overboard with the detail, because, you know, I'm always wondering, how does that work, how does that work, because it's my first time, so, you know, I'm out there looking for things like this, and I can't find them, so, but I'm doing one for myself. I just like so go back at it and put this car back together, right? So, uh, but if you like it, give me a thumbs up, you know, share it with your friends, help me out. Uh, I got 58 subscribers. I think something special happens when you get 100. I don't know. I don't know what happens exactly. I, I heard something, but I, I got to go research that. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I put a timeline. Uh, you know, it's in the description, so you can just go to the description and click on any one, but it's also. You know, if you got an iPad and stuff, you can kind of go along it, and uh, same thing with your mouse. But you know, I got I put it together a timeline so you can jump to whatever if I bore you at any particular point in time. All right, let's see. So I want to tell you about that. Uh, okay, uh, I have a bunch more videos coming up, so you know, uh, here. Here's just a little bit of a little list of the things that's going to be going on with this one. So, you know, uh, I'm waiting on my head. Still don't have the head back yet, but we're going to be lapping valves. We're going to be uh, uh, reassembling that, the, the valves. The intake uh, manifold, there's an upper and lower. We're going to completely recondition that, take it all apart, and put it all together. Uh, same thing with the uh, mixture control unit. We're going to take off the Jetronics thing. Yeah, we're going to just kind of tear into things and, yeah, hey. We want to make sure things are going together good, right? I don't want that to be the problem. So we're going through everything. Uh, yeah, even valve covers. You think it's just a valve cover? Oh, no. It's not. What do you see? These valve covers are 
different, at least, I, I don't know, maybe this is common stuff, but uh, I can't even find the part numbers, so you'll be surprised. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so there's a disclosure, as you see, maybe you'd be surprised. Well, the surprise is, is that, hey, I've never taken an engine out, right? I've never torn an engine apart, and I've never put one back together. So, you know, you're here for the ride. That's, that's all I can say. You're here for the ride. So, uh, the, my disclosure is this, you know. Uh, that's, that's my disclosure. So, it's, this isn't how I do it, because I've never done it, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so, links to all the tools and stuff that I use is in the description. Um, I, I don't get paid, I'm not sponsored, nobody's giving me money, I'm not an influencer, I'm just the guy tearing his car apart. And these are the tools that I'm using, and you can see it, like when I have a problem, I, you know, you know my tools jump, right? Uh, so far, I have some pretty good tools. You know, I think you got to spend the money on the tools. I found out, a guy the other day says, ah, you're not a car guy? You know, well, no, not really. So he goes, well, you're not a car guy, you're not this kind of guy, what kind of guy are you? I figured it out. I'm a tool guy. I like tools. I just like tools. So, you know, any little tools, the coolest thing, I think, right? If you can make it, that's even cooler. All right, back on track. You see what I told you? That's what happens. I'm sorry to waste your time. Uh, that's it. That is it. I think it's time to just get into this video and, you know, I'm going to be pumping out some more videos, I promise. They're going to be coming. The parts are coming. So, there's no doubt about it. Parts are actually coming as we speak. So, I'll be pumping out more videos. All right. Till the next time, guys. Watch this video, though. All right. The smog pump. <laughs> so, that also has to be put back on the car. Um, if you remember, I broke... I broke this hose here, and then we've got this hose here. Uh, this is hard as a rock. So we're, we're going to change those. I've got uh, some of those parts here. All right, so those are the part numbers of, of what I have. We don't know if there's anything else that's going to be needed. Um, my cable's sheathing, as you can tell, is just falling off, right? So that needs to be either wrapped and put back in, but it's also loose in this area. So um, I was able to score a new old stock. So that's that part number that you saw on the print. But we're going to take a look at what's inside of the box. So there's a nice brand new cable, of course. So this is just that backing plate. You know, it looks the same except for this ring. So you can take a look at this ring. You can see it's got this big piece and, you know, two, two holes. All right. It also comes with a circlip. At least this did. So I'm just going to set this aside temporarily. So there's the wheel, or this is the outside wheel, right? So I'm talking about this inside piece right in here. Right. So this piece. And the difference it's it's two piece like like the other one but it's a solid two piece you see it kind of goes all the way around so it still has that extra distance that this is providing see that little piece so i'm thinking you know it's just a different design uh, supposedly it's the right part number according to the print Okay, so let's go ahead and start taking this thing, breaking it down. This this hose is brand new. I replaced this, uh, you know, right before I parked it. <laughs> there we go. And I'll just disconnect it from here. 
I'll be a son of a gun. And that's got that vacuum line, which appears to be white, red, blue, and green. Wow. It's got the whole rainbow of colors on that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take the this off here and see what's behind there. There's going to be a washer. There's first off a nut, a washer, a little star thing, a circlip, and that's going to hold all this, and then another circlip. So we've got two circlips to remove, and then we'll pull the pulley off and get to our magneto thing. So I'm going to just use my small little impact for this. Um, it's 22 millimeter, I believe. Yes, it is. And we'll just see if we can do it with that. Looks like we did. There's the nut. Just so we can all see what we got here. I don't see a washer, like it says. There's just this. And then there's the snap ring. We'll be able to get all this cleaned up and probably get this thing moving pretty nicely too. There we go. Finally got it off of there. It is shaped though differently if you notice. That one side. It's bigger. I think this thing comes off, but you need a puller. So I'm just going to try this. See what happens. I mean, I don't want to put too much pressure on because I don't want to break something. I wish I had like real manuals. I mean, what do the guys do in the shop? Do you just learn this stuff? Like I'm learning it? If so, then I guess I'm no different than anybody else. I mean, I have a basic understanding how things work, but gosh, how would you know? And how do I know I can put this back on? I might have to bring it into a shop and have it pressed on. So, that's the first time I've gotten this far with something like this, so. Alright, so there's the bearing. The seals all look good, so let's take a look at that. Because that's, Im that's important. So, that's what it looks like. In there. You can see that seal doesn't look too bad. We'll take a picture of it too because, you know, I think we can clean all this up. Maybe, maybe you know, just lubricate it with some 3-in-1 oil. I don't know. Um, but what's cool is, you know, it's got part numbers on that seal. So I'll get it all cleaned up and then we'll get a better view of that. We're going to verify that the new one looks the same. All right, so there's that bigger clip. See that right in there? All right, so there's that clip. So that's a good sign. And then we notice that these holes that are on this new piece, those holes, that one of them right there is on a pin. The other one's free. We line right up. See that? Our, our lines line right up. So, it looks like we have the right part. Ta-da! I think getting that on there is going to be a lot harder. Everything fit just right. Fits so good, it's snug, right? That is great. As a memento or somebody, you know, there's nothing wrong with this. This still works, I think. Everything's fine. 
it can just be cleaned up, get another plug, and actually, you know, because I have a new one, I could have just done the plug. Because I have, I actually have one other plug besides this plug. So if this were to break, but if it doesn't break, it's just as simple as doing that, and then you glue this back on. That's all it is, is just epoxy, epoxy onto this. That's all. I'm make it a waterproof connection and, and this thing would be just fine. So I'm not throwing this away. And now we verified that this works. So we we'll set that aside. Um, now if we want to disconnect this, this is a 5mm, this one up in front here. Right, that one right there. So in order to get the pump itself off, And that's just your typical bolt with your, looks like a spring washer actually, rather than just a regular washer. The adjusting nut. I had it all loose but not out. There we go. So there's our pump. Perfect. Our pump now is separate. So I'm just going to clean this stuff up and we'll come back to it. Okay, so now I've got everything cleaned up. It's looking really good. Um, this is the, the bracket. Looks nice. I'm going to set that over here a little bit. And here's the actual pump. So I just, just cleaned it. Rinsed it, blew it, dry it, and now we're ready to test it. I think we should probably test this before we put it all together. Let's make sure of the actual pump. Uh, this is no more than, uh, it's just an air pump. I, you, could, you could probably use it to pump up tires, I'm guessing. But one side will suck and I would think it's going to be the, it's just like valves, you see? we got a bigger one and a smaller one. So this is probably going to be the one that sucks and that one blows. And so all we have to do is at the back of this we have this hex head right there. Okay, so you have that and then that hex is a six. So I just have it on my drill, you know, because because this doesn't turn. I mean, it, you can turn it, but it's it's harder than you think, unless there's something wrong with this. But it don't sound like it. Hear that? So that pump itself, the air pump works. All right, we'll test later whether or not our magneto and everything works. Or that's basically what this is, just a magnet, which you know engages this. It's a clutch, and that engages this to go ahead and tell it to turn. So let's go ahead and put this back together, and. Um, Here's our pin, and if I remember right, it's our, I went ahead and marked this 13 because that's what it is on our, that's what the old one was, and if I remember that uh, this key right here is this right one, well, whatever size you see, but it sits in there just like this. If I remember right. And you just line that up until your key hits it. And there it is. Now I'm locked in. Now the next thing 
was that snap ring. You know, I'm wearing these kind of goggle things just to make sure that, you know, that thing is all the way in there. And it appears that it is. I'm just going to go ahead and tap around it a little bit with just a flathead chisel on the ring. say that that is just fine. It looks very similar to the other one. There's no pull play. That's what we want to make sure that she can't just come out. So, so that's good. Alright, so then our next part is our pulley. So now we remember, you know, that we had we didn't we, we had to pull it to get it out. So all right. So what about these things? They they say they have all kinds of torque pressure and everything. So what if I put one on one side? working you guys. I don't have to bring it in. <laughs> oh gosh. So silly. I mean sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Probably is there. Looks like it. I knew these little clamps would come in handy other than wood. Everything's running smoothly. Let's see if this thing will go in. Oh, what do you know? That was a good fit right there. I'll just tap around just to make sure. I would say that we have our clip on there. It's 22. We can probably engage that to tighten it. Let's test this clutch. Okay, so I've got my DC power supply, my variable power supply, and our pump. Just hook up a negative and positive. I don't think it matters. Wood side. And we'll know right away when we apply power to this whether or not it works, because what's going to happen, it's going to Pull this and engage this whole clutch. That's how it's supposed to work. So I don't even think I have to spin it to demonstrate this. So let's see. You see that? 
So we want to make sure this is clean, obviously. So that part works. See that? So we know the magnet's working. Okay, so not engaged. Then engaged. You see this label spinning right here? And this also spinning. Otherwise this don't spin. Alright, so we've tested the pump. Let's finish putting it together. Alright, we got to figure out how to get this to 35 foot pounds. Because the manual says it's 35 foot pounds plus or minus 5. Or not foot pounds, sorry. Newton meters. Alright, for this front nut. And you'll also notice that in this print it doesn't show a washer behind the nut. So, you know, just because this print, when you go to purchase it, shows it. It's really not there. And, and, and I'm going to cheat right now. I spent an hour trying to figure out how to do this. Um, so I've actually already achieved it. Uh, I achieved 35.1 Newton meters. And this is how I had to do it. Because you got to remember that... There it is. She's shutting down my, my torque. Is that this is your clutch. Right? That's your clutch. So I tried hooking it up to my my uh, variable supply and yeah while it can lock it to there it's probably still it still doesn't seem like it would be 35 foot pound or 35 newton meters uh, it just doesn't it doesn't have that much torque to it um, you know just because you can hold this doesn't mean anything you know you got to be able to hold this at the same time that you do that so I first tried to put a block of wood underneath here and try to do it. No way. I couldn't get more than seven pounds. Or seven Newton meters. I keep saying pounds. I don't know why. Uh, gosh. Uh, so, I thought, well, geez, how do they achieve that? And I thought, well, it's probably because they have that special, that special one in the middle there, right? That hex. But, how would you torque that? You'd have maybe a special wrench. I thought, okay, Mercedes is just going to sell me a special wrench. Uh, but no, that's not how they do it, I figure. Uh, in, in, the, in the shop, you know, how would they do that? And so then I thought, well, I see this little weep hole. There's a little weep hole inside here. I'm not so sure if you can see it, but there's a, a weep hole. And uh, so I thought, okay, I'll stick something in that weep hole and then turn the front and see if that did anything. And uh, no, that didn't, there was nothing. I could feel it, but nothing happening. But then I thought, well, what's, gosh, look, I can look inside of here and notice that things are turning inside of this. I, I really can't see if you guys can see any of that. Um, I need a giant monitor here so I can... A judge it. But anyway, I just took a pin and put it in here and found out where that, where that, uh, there's like a little cutout in the, in the wheel inside there. And so I, once I, once I found it, get, get my thing in there. So now you're locked. Right? So, then, I put this on here and miraculously was able to hold this 
and get this pushed down and be able to get my 35 newton meters. Everything's works and I do have my, my bench test here so we can make sure everything still works. I've got it hooked up to the power supply. I'll go ahead and give it some, there it is, that's going. Let's go ahead and give it 12 volt. So, our pump is pumping. So then I take off the power. She disengages, and now just the front turns, or in this case, this. Because this is always going to turn. It's just that when, you know, with, when the belt turns. So this will always be turning, and then that will clamp in and, and do it when it calls for it. So we know everything works properly. All right, so this is the shutoff valve. There's the part number for that. So that's this little guy right here, right? And then the rest of it attached to the back of the pump. And the other half goes up to the top to a check valve. This number 140. We have to make sure that this is, is what it says it is. So, or make sure it works. On the one side, carbon can build up. On the other side, I don't see much carbon, but it took me a while to get this clean. And, and then this works just like those electric valves, um, but it works on vacuum. So we're going to suck on this, and when you suck on this, you have to blow on the other to see if it works. And you say, oh gosh, how are we going to do that? Well, uh, we can do that. Let's see. We're going to need this, and then I'm going to use these little pliers here. And what I want to do first is I want to blow, doesn't really matter which side, I want to blow in here to make sure that I cannot blow through it. No, I cannot blow through it. So now I'm going to hit, I just grabbed myself some vacuum line that I had laying around and I'm going to stick the vacuum line in. Doesn't matter which end, I'm just looking at them. And I'm going to suck on this and then listen. It takes quite a bit of suction. So it sounds like, you know, there's no leaks, right? When I when I when you suck on it, you want to make sure it feels like there's no leaks. Put your tongue over the end of your line or whatever. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to pinch this off. I'm going to draw on this as much as I possibly can. That's how it should work. Disconnect. And you can't. So that valve works. Alright, before I put this on here, I want to show you something. On that valve, there's these little arrows. You see that? And on your elbows here, your rubber hose, there's also an arrow. When you line those up, all these will line up exactly how they're supposed to be lined up. Alright, let's see between all these tools whether or not I can get this thing on there. <laughs> so, goes into the small, the small side. Alright, so we got that started. We can't really get it any more than that to start with. So let's see if we can get this over that. Hard to say which one of these is going to help. No, we're good. 
getting there. We just need to get it in the right position here. That's pretty much where it belonged, actually. Okay, there's our bracket. And all we have is our five hex. We're going to need that. We're not going to tighten anything really down because you have to adjust the belt. So we're just going to be setting this in there for now. So there's the bracket. Set this. I just dropped the little washer. So you've got your spring washer here. And I dropped mine. Okay, and then you've got your your lock and then your, your stud there, your bolt. So there we go. That's our smog pump or secondary air pump, whatever. I mean, I don't know. There's so many different names. Um, and it's bracket. So we went ahead and we've tested this valve. We know it works. And we went ahead and actually exchanged this magnet. Um, regardless, you know how to how to test that too, and, and and actually how it all works. We all learn a little bit. I mean, I'm kind of familiar with how things work. Uh, and then, of course, the little trick about how to how to lock that up. So you can get your 35 Newton meters, not foot pounds, your 35 Newton meters plus or minus 5 uh, Newton meters. And I went to 35.1. So I'm comfortable with that, and that is now ready for installation. Don't forget your vacuum line, right? I'm just not going to hook this up because it's so clumsy, right? All right, well that that's it. But like I said, you gotta you gotta stick around to see if this thing actually works. Uh, this is just one of it. We're gonna put all these little pieces together and go through every single one of them. Make sure everything works before we put it into the car, right? And kind of go through it and clean it up. So, all right. Until next time, guys.